Hello there, Mr. Taliban. What's that? You haven't got a gun? Oh, too bad I hate mimes, too. We're at the end of the week, kids. My personal favorite day in Postal 2, where I've got all the guns, I'm flush with ammo, nothing can touch me, and crack is $500. Except with the home dealer who always gives you a discount, but I already know how this goes. <laughs> Yeah, nice try, asshole. Oh man, I gotta take a wicked leak. Just hold it, dude, I'm busy. I'm just gonna sneak right in here, rob Lucky Ganesh again, see if he's got anything. Oh god, the war on terror is not over, guys, it's not over! <laughs> if anything, the Taliban is an even worse problem now. They're in the suburbs shooting rockets at you, shooting you from high ground. If I didn't have a sniper rifle and all these drugs, it would be an issue. I'm actually really heavily addicted to crack by this point. I broke on Wednesday, but I've been able to keep it going strong ever since. The streets are full of ATF agents and National Guard troops now. And they don't arrest you, they'll just kill you. Look at this goddamn donut convention. You know what? I need to get arrested. I'm not paying $500 for a police uniform at the laundromat. It's easier to just get arrested. Oh man, I gotta take a wicked leak. How about some of this, officer? Got the scumbag. Oh, uh, man. That's gonna be so. Oh, I definitely need to get this looked at. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're pissing shake, bro. You gotta see a doctor about that. They don't like that I'm drowning this cop in gonorrhea piss. Not one bet. So I go to a doctor to have him look at it. Oh, man. <coughs> gonna... ah. I want a second Oof. opinion. Oof. Oof. Now your piss attacks force pretty much all the NPCs to vomit uncontrollably, and we can't let that go to waste. No one's impressed. Ah. Oh, man. <coughs> ah. Just passing through the mall, I think I'll see what the ATF store has, but the police presence is even worse than the Taliban presence, so I gotta create a little bit of a distraction. Oh, oh shit, why do they always run towards me when they're on fire? Oh, yeah. I have to pick up a package from the post office, where there are signs up that tell them specifically not to accept packages addressed to me. I've got a note that says there's a package for me. Last name's Dude. Let's see here. Yes, Mr. Dude, we do have a package for you, but there's some postage due on it. Fuck you. That'll be 100 bucks. What cheap asshole didn't pay for the postage? Unacceptable, I'm out of here. Nah, I'm just kidding. Have a crotchy day, bitch. Oops. Now I'm gonna have to find it myself. And how? Now I get to go postal at the post office. I can't imagine why the Postal Service had a problem with running with scissors after the first Postal game, but after this, eh, and it's not just Postal workers, the ATF starts dropping in. Yeah, dropping into my chainsaw. And one more group offended. Guess I'm just not a people person. So now the post office is closed forever, just like the library, the brewery, the meatpacking plant. Come to think of it, I am wrecking this town's economy. Wow, Uncle Dave's having a party. 
Oh yeah, this mission. This is all kinds of fun. Just keep your sniper rifle handy. Uncle Dave has a cult compound on the outskirts of town, but they're really okay people. Stop oppressing us! We're innocent bystanders! We recommend you douse yourselves with something flammable and gather in a confined space. I fucking love this game. The good book told me to make you die, then myself. Okay, fine, they're religious zealots with guns. We're not zealots! Eat lead and die, unbelieving and heathen scum. Perfect. So I'm not gonna get by the ATF agents, I gotta snipe them. Especially the ones with rocket launchers, but especially all of them. Cause I'm just here to deliver a birthday present, I'm not into any of this weird cult shit. Baby Jesus says bullets are the seeds of victory. This is kinda H.R. Giger, isn't it? Very amosexual. I don't know what they're all still doing here, I killed all the agents outside and the building's on fire. I get the impression that this used to be a school from this gym here. Fuck it, I wanna get to the good stuff. Uncle Dave seems like a cool enough guy and he's got a free crack pipe. Once I give him his present though, the ATF swarms in, and if Uncle Dave didn't want me to shoot his followers, he wouldn't make them a danger to everyone around them. I leave one with a Molotov cocktail alive, and of course this happens. Right here. Idiot. They have to be tossing these things in a building that's already on fire. You know, Friday is usually a bloodbath, but god damn. Let's just clear the way here. <sighs> Oh god, no! Oh Don't god, oh my god, Don't oh please look. god, no! Hey, I think that's the first crash of the run. That's really good for Postal 2. While I love the shit out of this game, it does have some stability issues. Not like it did in the old days, but yeah. Didn't you just save? Didn't you just crash? The police are really up my ass today. I've ditched the police uniform, so every little multi-car explosion and large-scale massacre really pisses them off. You think it takes three cops to arrest me? It takes way more than three cops. Stop! Get down! On the ground, asshole! <laughs> you know what? This is getting a little too serious. I'm gonna lay low for a minute, just calm down, smoke some crack, wait for this to blow over. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. One mission left, guys, at the junkyard. Hey, Chico, I need an alternator for an 87 to fuck you. I'm not gonna wait for this to go bad. I'm just gonna take him out and obviously not pay him. Now, as soon as you find an alternator, the junkyard dogs start bothering you, but I have enough dog treats for all of them. Oh, yeah. They call this one the sprinkler. My dog friends fight it out with the other junkyard dogs, and I keep picking more up on the way because I've spent five days collecting dog biscuits. Only problem is this, I can clear this crusher just fine, but I lose one of the dogs to it. In the arms of the oh my god, who the fuck is writing these puns? Katie, I hope they cut your fucking- Yeah, I lose one dog to this crusher and then I lose another one on the loading screen. But good god, it's the apocalypse! Joe Lieberman done fucked us over again. If you'd like to know why it's the apocalypse, well, I don't know, it just is. How the fuck else do you end a game? With a cutscene? Normally, I'd expect a fancy cinematic to explain such a crucial story element. No way, because shit has now really hit the fan. Cats are raining down from the sky, everyone and their mother has an assault rifle and a bad attitude. You look at anyone funny and they'll murder you straight up. So basically, the NPCs are playing this game like I have been. Now, to end the game, you have to return to the dude's trailer. But I have some unfinished business here in paradise, let me tell you. I'm not just gonna run back home to my wife and drown my sorrows in goat milk. Uh-uh. This town has spent the last five days fucking me like the chicken in pink flamingos. And the postal dude cannot abide that. This is where we truly and shamelessly go motherfucking postal. First stop is the bank, which I've already robbed today, and all their guards have respawned, but not the money. Not that it matters, I can't buy any more crack. Nobody's dealing, and whenever I approach them, they all treat me like I murdered them several times in a past life. Hi. Hi there. Hey, you! That's fair. How about some of this? I can't even find crack anymore, which leads me to believe that I have single-handedly exhausted this town's supply of drugs. Let's check in with those fuckers at the asylum. It's like boring. Cooler. Yep. Just enjoying my second amendment, and you people have to freak out on me. I make my way to the church to pay my respects to the old man without being interrupted by rednecks. Which reminds me, I have to go to the brewery and pay my respects to the rednecks. <laughs> But 
first I gotta go visit the Taliban who have taken residence inside the church, and I mean like all of them. Have a crotchet day. Have a crotchet day. <laughs> Oh, and let's not forget the circus. So that's what that feels like. And of course, the police station. Hi, I'm a friend of Sarah Connor, and this bit isn't gonna work because you can't drive cars in this game. I'm just slicing my way through when... Oh my god. Oh my god. Gary, Crotchy, you bastards. Let's make this a fair fight and let him out, even though Gary has a gun already for some reason. Gary goes down easy, and now it's time for a rematch, Crotch Man. Oh god, the boomstick isn't doing anything, guys. The chainsaw isn't doing anything. Best two out of three, ball sack. Let's go. A dick's got to know his limitations. We're almost done now, kids. I was a little curious to see what I missed in that little tunnel under Lucky Ganesh, you know, the one where the hellhounds are? I still have a few dog biscuits, so I can check it out. <coughs> the dog biscuits distract them, but they don't become friendly, so... There's nothing down here I don't already have, that's fine. I want to do one last thing, though. I have one more of these WMDs left, and I'm gonna use it at home. That was always the plan. Something, uh... Something weird happened. Now these hellhounds, they're not your friends. Even if you feed them dog biscuits, they're not your friends. And as far as I can tell, the game made them think that they were. Because they followed me through the level transition. But they're unkillable. And they're not attacking me. And it just so happens that one of them gets in the blast radius of my WMD. And this, kids, let me explain to you what this means. And it warms my heart. Because nobody can kill these hellhounds. And they are now forever infected with a biological agent. They are carriers unstoppable. And even after I have returned home to the trailer, this good boy is gonna keep running forever and ever and ever, infecting every NPC he ever comes into contact with. Tactically, this means I have an infinite kill count for this game, because I've gone so fucking postal that my work will carry on long past the end credits. This town is well and truly fucked. This right here, kids, is why I love this game because no matter how many times I play it, something surprises me from what can be accomplished in this beautiful mess, this timeless classic, this unmatched experiment in open-world insanity. Postal 2, in my mind, is a bona fide classic. It belongs in museums, because while this kind of game can be imitated, you just can't catch lightning in a bottle again, because even the bugs and glitches add to the experience. They are just another brushstroke in this masterpiece of design. I may never play a game again that lets me say, yeah, I did this insane thing, but next time I boot it up, something weirder's gonna happen. Something more tasteless. Something more unfathomable. And next time, I'm gonna pee in its mouth until it pukes. This is Sivvy, signing off on Paradise for just a while. And as always, I regret nothing. See you in the DLC.